All right, polarization inevitably leads to more coaching clients. If you're feeling like you're not booking enough calls, if you're feeling like your lead costs in advertising are too high, for a certain reason, the ads are not really converting, the funnel is not really converting. Um, if you're producing content and you feel like, okay, I'm getting some reach, I'm getting impressions. I mean, people are clicking on my YouTube videos, for instance, or watching my TikTok videos, my Instagram reels, but no one is converting. I mean, no one signs up for calls here. There's something off. And typically, yes, I can tell you there's something off and it's not a problem that you can fix in most cases that you can fix on a superficial level. Like, okay, here are free tips to fix problem XYZ. Just do this and your marketing will work. No, typically when you have this very problem, there is something going on that is lying much deeper. Yeah. And in most cases you can boil it down to you not being brave enough in your marketing. You're not polarizing in your marketing. You're not showing enough spine in your marketing and therefore you're not dropping real talk. You're not saying the truth in your marketing, right? And saying the truth is something very, very powerful because it will trigger people in a good way or in a bad way. And why that is important in marketing emotional triggers. That's what we're going to cover in this episode. But before we jump into that, my name is Matthias Lösche and we're supporting coaches, consultants and experts in the process of going from random marketing to measurable results. And we're typically doing this through sales psychology and marketing and through advertising campaigns like on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. So you don't really have to worry about, okay, where is the next client coming from? Where are the next calls coming from? I cannot scale my ads, lead prices are getting too expensive. These should not be your problems, right? You should be focusing on way bigger problems in your business, like setting up the right kind of systems, having an amazing fulfillment, working with your clients, delivering excellent results, hiring the right team members, and so on and so forth, scaling the whole thing through the roof, but not basic problems like, okay, where's the next call coming from or something along these lines. Polarization. What is the problem if you're not triggering people emotionally. The worst thing that can happen to you as an entrepreneur or business owner is you being invisible on your markets or being invisible in general. And most of you are way too afraid of getting some backfire. There are, you're mo way too afraid. You're way too afraid of getting somehow criticized or something like this. Maybe getting some haters because you want to be liked by everyone. But I can tell you the issue is if you're not triggering people emotionally in a positive sense and also in a negative sense, you're not emotionalizing in your marketing. And if you don't emotionalize in your marketing, you remain invisible. You really remain invisible. So it's not a bad sign if you're getting some bad comments here below your YouTube video or TikTok video or something like this, no, that's actually a good sign because it obviously tells that you triggered someone emotionally and this tells you you're at least visible. You're at least not invisible. Okay. So where is all this coming from, right? Why do you need to trigger people emotionally in your marketing to get attention and finally to convert people? Firstly, you got to understand there's a certain basic level noise going on on social media. If you're running ads on social media, if you're producing content on social media, whatever platform it is, you're always competing against other people who are doing this too, right? And in most cases, those are influencers, they're content creators or something like this. So imagine someone going on Instagram now, they're not going on Instagram with the intention of, okay, let's see what the next, where the next ad is coming up here let's buy something. No, that's not what's going to happen, right? People are going on Instagram to scroll randomly through their, mindlessly through their newsfeed and see, okay, what were my friends up to last week and where was the last party? Uh, are there any news? Did I miss something? However, what's going on in other people's life? Uh, maybe I want to watch some funny cat videos or I want to cook something very nice and there's the next fitness influencer here and he presents, okay, how to produce this me meal very nicely and so on and so forth. You get the point, right? You get the point is that there's so much content and noise going on. There's this basic noise level here on social media. And since 
you don't have the advantage as an expert, as a coach, as a consultant produce to produce crazy content like influencers that typically takes uh, on average, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 hours to produce, produce an amazing, highly produced YouTube video or something like this. Uh, if you don't, you don't have that advantage because you have to take care of your business. You need to find a different way. You need to find a different angle, okay, to stand out of this crowd. So production value is not the way to stand out. The only other option that you have, and luckily enough, the second option goes hand in hand with your conversions in marketing. It goes hand in hand with you generating leads, with you booking calls, with your ads firing, getting more clicks on your YouTube videos, etc. And this is the polarization aspect when you start triggering people emotionally. Yeah. As I was saying previously, it, those can be positive emotional triggers. Those can be negative emotional triggers. If you think that only fans can buy from you or only fans will buy from you, then you're definitely wrong. I can tell you that many, many haters or let's say people when they see you for the first time, maybe they don't like you. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. That's just what it is. But the more they start consuming your content and you producing content from different angles at a certain point in time, also these guys typically start seeing, okay, interesting. There's something about it, what he just said. I mean, I don't like this guy. I don't like how he's talking. I don't like what he's doing there. But after the fourth, fifth, seventh, tenth ad YouTube video, Instagram Reels, say, okay, yeah. He got something. He's right about that. Let's have a look at the other piece of content. Let's have a look at his website. And then I start seeing, okay, interesting. Now I see this come from a completely new perspective, right? I didn't thought of this like that. And that's when you turn a hater around to a fan, by the way. But the emotional uh, the important part is here that both hater and fan, you know, when polarized, you have two poles, a plus pole, a minus pole, a fan, a hater, same like in physics, by the way, um, that both can be monetized. But you cannot monetize stuff when there is not this um, electric voltage between plus and minus, uh, if you're having these two poles, if you will. Because you're not emotionalizing these guys. And people don't buy on rational levels. People buy on a very, very emotional level. Of course, there are certain, there should be certain aspects in your marketing, like pieces of content, retargeting ads that build trust, that show social proof, that explain to people on a rational, logical level what's going to happen. Of course, all this must be in place. But if this in general, your whole marketing is not emotionally charged, then all this won't work. It will be fruitless because when people, and that's a basic rule in copywriting, every copywriter who's maybe watching this will agree with me here. If people are not emotionally opened up, they won't buy. So you can pitch them everything, whatever you want. If you pitch at all, I see so many um, coaches who are producing content and they don't even have a call to action at the end of the video or at the end of the content. I don't know what's going on there, but um, if you pitch someone and they are not opened up emotionally, so they're they're not emotionally on a certain level, right? It's not emotionally charged, the whole feeling, then it will be very, very fruitless for you. And by the way, now as I, I, I remember, if you got some questions about all of that, how you can polarize in your market, if you have certain issues with your ads or something like this, just send me a message on my Instagram channel. I typically always, I try to reply to all messages and then I can see what the issue is. I mean, if you've got some basic questions, I'm happy to answer these for you. However, right, if people are not opened up emotionally, then you have a hard time and that's what you gotta do. And the only way to do this is by dropping the real talk. You gotta say the truth. You gotta speak the truth like it is because everyone else, including your competitors, they're sugarcoating people. As I was saying in the beginning, here are three tips to do this. That's how to do that. Manifest money like, you know, easiest way to lose weight, you know, stuff like this. I mean, if you produce content like, okay, here are the, frex, the, the next three tips. Are you surprised that your, your marketing is not working? I mean, that's something you should ask yourself at this very point. Are you surprised? 
Is this something new for you, that content like this doesn't work? Because you're not waking up people. You're not. They're consuming your content and say, ah, oh, nice, now I'm satisfied. I did something for myself. I'm proud of myself. They tap themselves on their shoulder and say, yeah, I already watched a video on how to lose weight today, so I'm getting one step closer to my goal. But what they're missing is the execution aspect. If they don't execute, nothing's going to happen. And that's, for instance, something, that's the real talk you got to drop. I mean, you can you can watch YouTube videos about how to lose weight the whole day. You can read through recipe books the whole day. But if you don't start cooking healthy, if you don't have a calorie deficit, if you don't go to the gym, if you want to have muscles or something like that, nothing is going to happen. I mean, virtually nothing. And it's, for instance, the real talk that you have to drop. And for my instance here, when I'm producing content or when I'm doing marketing for my business, like on this very episode here, is that the real talk is, if it's not working for you and you see like, okay, my content is not converting, my ads are not firing, but for a certain reason, I don't get the idea that I maybe just reach out to an expert and ask him about his opinion. Probably he could tell me what's off. And then you're dithering around here testing 100 different things and you tap yourself on the shoulder. Yeah, I'm testing, I'm testing, I'm testing, I'm testing, I'm testing new offers, I'm testing new positionings, split testing my ads, split testing my landing page. Most of you don't even know how to split test landing pages. I can tell you. Most of you don't even know, even if they would know how to split test landing pages and ads correctly, you would not know how to evaluate data correctly because you did not learn it properly. Maybe you did from a $1,000 Facebook ads course or something like this. But that's a joke, to be honest. Yeah. So that's a real talk I'm dropping here. Okay. And at this point, if your marketing is not firing yet, then there's work to do. There is work to do where you got to wake up. Okay. That's how I'm emotionalizing here in my content. This was just one way. Maybe it was a little bit harsher. It could be, but it's the truth. I mean, that's just what it is. And typically content like this is converting much better because firstly, people are opened up emotionally. Secondly, you get their attention. You wake them up. They're open. They're being receptive to listening to what you have to say. You bring them to think about, they start thinking about, okay, actually there's something, yeah, there's something about it, right? This guy is this right. It's not only about the free tips on here, how to get more clicks on my Facebook ads. Obviously, it's not not that simple. Yeah. Okay, but I'm digressing a little bit. Most important thing is, if you got problems with your conversions, leads are not really coming in. Uh, you don't have enough book calls. You have a hard time scaling your ads. And you see, okay, on a superficial superficial level, everything looks good. Everything seems to work, but for a certain reason, it's not really firing. Then you should pay attention to, okay, what are you actually saying in your marketing? Yeah, from the website landing page to your content, to your ads, how do you produce marketing? Do you produce a... Um, sunny weather marketing where everything is great and that or are you really saying the truth yeah that's something to think about okay because at the end of the day also in marketing fortune only favors the bold okay that's super important to understand and polarization is one of the most critical aspects that you can have in your marketing almost every successful brand Every successful coaching business that you see out there is polarizing in a certain sense. It doesn't mean that they have to be harsh or something like this. They're just saying the truth and they're standing for something. They have a spine and they say, I stand for X, but not for Y. Yeah, they're taking position at their in their market and they're communicating properly with their audience. So they get it. Yeah. And they have a call to action at the end of their contents or the videos. And that's what I'm going to do now. So if you want to fix this once and for all, and I want to say, yeah, I want to get measurable results too. I want to get out of this random marketing. Sometimes something is working here. Most of the time, not. Sometimes I'm starting an ad. It seems to work for the first two days, but then it stops, stops working. Once I got a YouTube video that went viral, but then this was the last time one year ago. However, 
Then I want to highly encourage you to jump on a call with us on our website. You can apply for this. The link will be here directly below this very video. And then I'm going to take 60 to 90 minutes for your situation, for your business. Have a look at your concrete situation. It's not going to be a cookie cutter approach or something like this. We're really going to have a look at your situation and see how we can fix that. What is off? Typically, there are one, two things that are off. And once you fix these bottlenecks, it's just, I mean, then the leads are coming in. Yeah. And if you want to learn that, I recommend talking to us. Yeah. <laughs> that being said, I will see you then on the next episodes, on the next video, on this call. And well, as you know, excellent marketing leads to excellent results. And if you're not there yet, then there's work to do. There's work to do. All right. Till then and bye-bye.